All right guys, so rookie Jamie over here. I'm gonna make a list of all the things that I need to prep before I do videos because it's been so long since I filmed that I'm like, oh, I have no batteries that aren't dead. So let's try to zoom through this because I've had to get up like six times. <laughs> okay, what was the most exciting milestone involving your child? Oh golly, there's so many good milestones with every age. I mean, I connect with Fiona so different than I did with her when she was little. Now that she's older and like there's just so many good so many good milestones. I would say one of the greatest milestones that I love is when your child starts smiling at you and interacting with you and they recognize you. That is like I love that cuz you're like, "Oh my gosh, you love me." Ah, you know who I am. What is the worst thing your child has ever done? Oh my gosh, I don't think I want to, <laughs> the worst thing my, well my kids are so little, it's not like I'm answering this as a mom of like people that are in their 20s because I don't think I put that on the internet. Oh, the worst thing they've ever done. Gosh, I don't know, they've never done anything super crazy, I mean they're so little. Well, we just recently hit the milestone of lying, so that's been, oh gosh, I hate, why, why do we do this as humans? Why do we? It's so frustrating to me. So we're navigating through that right now and trying to understand why sometimes taking the easy way out and telling something that's not true is not a good idea. What habit do you wish that your child didn't have? Oh man. I guess being honest, two of my four children um, have, they've got some more, they've got some sensory stuff and um, they get triggered by certain things and they're just sensitive to certain sensory things. And so sometimes that can be frustrating to me if I'm just being honest. If you are a parent who um, of a child that has sensory processing issues or um, anything like that, you know like a lot of you try to like you want your child to know how to live in a world where they're not going to bend for them. They're not, you know, they have they're going to have to acclimate to the world. But you also want to provide a home that like you're not going to bang on the wall five times if you know that banging on the wall five times is going to make your child upset. Like you're not, you know what I'm saying? And so sometimes just those little things can get frustrating sometimes. So it's not a specific habit. I think it's just, you know, just trying to navigate through that and sometimes it can be frustrating to me. What habit of theirs makes you really proud? I would say when I see them taking care of each other, that makes me proud. When I see that Jude really wants something and Ezra goes, you know what Jude, okay, you can have it. I love you, you can have this. That makes me proud, like that means a lot to me. Or if we're out somewhere and someone is being unkind to their sibling and they will step in and just be that defense for them, that really, it just oh, it gets me all emotional just because it's just, um, I love that. I love that concept of family and I, I want us, I want our family to be close. And so when I see them just loving on each other, that means a lot. Do you share any similarities with your child, both physical and personality? Um, <laughs> okay, so personality wise, I'm a lot like Fiona. Fiona is a lot like me um, in some ways. And she's also a lot like my husband. My kids all look like my husband except for my son, Ezra. Ingrid, Jude, and Fiona all look like John, um, and Ezra looks like me. Also, some of their sensory stuff, I have sensory processing um, stuff as well. Really loud noises are difficult for sometimes for me. Um, I get really overwhelmed sometimes, and so some of that stuff they get from me as well. Where would you like your child to be in 10 years? at home with me because <laughs> they're still very little. Uh, gosh, in 10 years, Fiona will be 16. Oh my gosh, that's, that's crazy to think of. Where would I like them to be? I would like them to be content and at peace in our home and our family. I would like our family to be close and happy and um, I would like them to be serving the Lord and just enjoying life. What is something having a child has taught you? That life is not about things. Life is about experiences and moments um, and being with the people that you love. That's what life is about. Did you imagine that you'd be a mom at the age that you became a mom? Um, 
no, I always thought that I'd be a mom a little bit later on in life, but I got married so young. John and I got married when we were 19 and 20, and so we were married for like three years before we had kids. Describe your child in a single sentence. Oh, I hate doing stuff like this because it's totally off the cuff. Fiona is so loving and fiery <laughs> and, and joyful. Ezra is passionate and funny and loving. Jude is funny and cute and gentle and loving. And Ingrid, well, she's only seven months right now, so from what I can tell, she's very sweet, she is very particular, and I think she just has a really good spirit about her. How have you changed as a person since becoming a mom? How have I not changed? <laughs> I've changed so much since having a, since having kids. I don't even think I knew who I was until I had children and I had to like face the music. <laughs> I mean, gosh, I couldn't even tell you in just one just one area. Having a child, having children has rocked my world and changed me for the better a million percent. And God has used being a mom to just affect places in my heart that I didn't know were there and just radically pursue me and change me. And so yeah, gosh, being a mom has changed everything about me. All right guys, so that is the mommy tag. I will leave the video down below um, from Victoria who mentioned this to me. And then I will also um, leave the questions down below. So if you guys wanna do this tag, we're, bring, we're bringing tags back in the mommy community. So I tag you, all you moms, answer all these questions. They don't have to be as long-winded as mine. Thanks for watching you guys and I'll see you guys later, bye.